Good morning students. Today the topic is equilibrium of fluid in given field of force. Today we will prove del P by del S equal to rho F. Or show that the distance between consecutive surfaces of equal pressure varies inversely as the resultant force and the density conjointly. For this we consider a fluid in equilibrium under the action of given system of external force. Now taking PQ as an axis, we construct a cylinder of cross-sectional area alpha. Now pressure at P is a small p and the pressure at Q is a small p plus delta P. The direction of pressure at P is towards P and the direction of pressure at Q is towards Q. Since the cross-sectional area is alpha, so the thrust on P is P alpha. And the thrust on Q is P plus delta P multiplied by alpha. We have rho equal to mean density. F is the component of external force per unit mass. Per unit mass means one unit mass ke liye jo component of external force hai wo capital F hai. Aur hamare paas jo cylinder hai wo ye hai. To is cylinder ke andar jo total mass hai wo kya ho jayega? Wo ho jayega volume multiplied by rho. और इस पर्टिकुलर सिलेंडर के लिए जो वॉल्यूम है वो हो जाएगा अल्फा एंड डेल्टा एस ये हो गया वॉल्यूम और मास बनाने के लिए इसमें मल्टीप्लाई करना पड़ेगा रो अब ये हो गया पूरा मास इस सिलेंडर का तो अगर एक यूनिट के लिए एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एफ है तो ये टोटल यूनिट के लिए हम लोग कैपिटल एफ को यहाँ मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो एक्सटर्नल फोर्स ऑन द फ्लूड इन द सिलेंडर इन द डायरेक्शन पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू रो अल्फा एफ डेल्टा एस Now at equilibrium, we have, for this system, we have three forces, P alpha, P plus delta P alpha and the external force. So the external force balances these two thrust. So P plus delta P alpha minus P alpha equal to rho alpha F delta. This gives del P by del S equal to rho F. Next, Q tends to P, then delta S tends to zero. Taking the limit, we have del P by del S equal to rho F implies del P by del S equal to rho F. Here, this del and this del both are different. This represent P is a function of more than one variable. So, this del P by del S is equal to partial derivative of P with respect to X. This is equal to rho F. If P is function of a single variable, then this will become dP upon dS. That's all. Thank you.